Hey Lee gang, yes I quit my job, my stable 9 to 5 is out the window. Let's get into the tea, a mini story time on my work life, the jobs I've had, what I'm going to do now and what made me come to this decision. If you're a returning subscriber or viewer then welcome back. If you are new here my name is Blue, artistic gymnast, owner of Stretch and Flex where I work as a mobility, strength and flexibility coach and I am now a full-time business owner it's literally been three months of decision making stress um ups and downs full of different emotions for once i wanted to keep this quiet before i made the decision i always speak too soon and things don't pull through um so yeah i wanted to keep this one quiet before i release it to the public my clients knew about two three weeks ago and now the public knows. Side note and off topic, it's the 14th today, which also makes me one year locked. Some would say it's a coincidence, but in my opinion, I think not. I think the 14th is just my day. Officially turned a full-time business owner today and I'm one year locked. Literally just full of excitement. Genuinely, I just think sometimes you have to throw yourself into the deep end. No, I can't swim, but I for sure have a life jacket. Actually, I have a couple. Getting into my work history, starting with my most current to my first job. I've actually loved all my jobs. I've had some quite interesting ones. Um, I've always loved working a nine to five. The job that I've just left, um, I finished working my notice period today. I was working as a concierge receptionist. The job before that, I was working at a private jet airport doing a security job then I was security at TikTok headquarters which was my one of my favorite jobs I loved it there I moved from a shopping center in Croydon um, while I had that job I was still doing security at festivals and clubs working on the doors before that I was at Argos warehouse um before that i was a recruiter a talent acquisition and then my first ever job i was working as a christmas temp in matalan so that's been my work history i've obviously just said that i loved working a nine to five so now the question is why would i leave my stable job to now go to being a full-time business owner if i'm honest i've just been very unhappy for a long time which isn't me um it i thought it maybe i was working too early like i had to get up too early and i was always tired then i changed my job the job that i just left working as a concierge um it was in some luxury apartment which was really nice um i actually started there at 3 p.m to 11 p.m so then i was getting up later in the day i could do get on with my day in the morning again hated that was just unhappy with that so i changed to 7 a.m to 3 p.m way better i have my day left i have more of my day left in the evening again still getting up early um i just hated it, it i was just unhappy i i've really thought that it, it was the job itself i didn't spend very long at the private jet airport i think i was there for about two or three months that's the shortest time i've ever been at a job aside from being a christmas temp um so moved to this job loved it at first and then yeah the passion for it for a nine to five just isn't there anymore and it's been this for a long time um well over a year and like i said this isn't me i love nine to five so i just knew that something had to give um i'm always tired like i said working my full-time job to then go to do stretch and flex basically almost full time because um of how much hours i'm putting into it weekly i don't have my weekends um it would just became very draining so i really just sat down and said to myself like i have to make a decision i've done a nine to five full time without a side hustle before so i know what that feels like so i might as well give stretch and flex a chance but am i willing to take on what's gonna come with that um and that's what the decision making was really and yeah now we're here i know that there's this whole movement that i'm not really with leave your nine to five 
don't work for somebody else work for yourself it's like everyone wants to start a business um not from a passion but just for the money that's never been me which is why i knew that when i've been feeling like this for such a long time there has to be something behind it so i really had to think deeply on this decision i'm actually a big advocate for mental health and peace of mind over everything if i'm not happy this is not going to work out for me spend the majority of our lives at work and if i'm not happy there this small time that i get to spend at home is just going to be sad jehovah for sure knows how grateful i am for every job that i've had i'm just no longer happy anymore but i can say that i'm definitely blessed to even be able to have the opportunity to leave a nine to five and have something to fall back on that um, has very high potential the way how i see this journey working for me i'm not gonna fail i don't see myself failing and i say that because i know i'm gonna put 110 percent in i've already been doing that with the short time i've had now i've got more time on my hands like i can't fail this doesn't work right now i'm for sure gonna learn something from this which is why i say i can't fail if i need to go back to my nine to five i don't see that as a failure but i'm not really speaking that into existence i'm just saying so now how am i gonna run my business because of course i have to run it way different to what i was doing originally now that it's full time my biggest thing now is the availability that's probably the main thing that has made me miss out on a lot of opportunities um i've had quite a few schools contact me um whether that's dance schools karate schools I've missed out on so many opportunities because the time that they need me to get to their class, I'll probably get in to work. I used to work night shifts at one point. Um, I missed out on those opportunities. Of course, clients, uh, again, some want me to start early morning. Others want me to start late evening. Wasn't able to do that. I could only offer two to three days out of my week. And yeah, now I have the full weeks. So that would be the main thing. Um, clients are very happy about that, actually. Just before I left my last job, I took all my holiday. <laughs> I took all my holiday. Um, so I did. I took off a week to start with. Um, I actually did go on holiday, but I took off a week where I just wanted to do stretch and flexible time so that I could see how, basically just give myself a little trial period so I can see what works and what doesn't. So I've added two days out of my week where I'm going to be working late. Um, of course, if a client, if those, those days are open for if clients want to book late. If not, then fine by me, I can finish my day early. Um, that will be the main thing. It's sad because the opportunities that we miss, we will never get back, um, which is sad. Like I really did want to work with some of the schools that contacted me, but that doesn't mean that we won't get more opportunities like that in the future. So that's very exciting for me um i've added package deals i only had originally i only had package deals for my one-to-one -one private sessions and so now those are available those are available for class as well i'm also traveling outside of london i recently just had my first class in birmingham which was successful my next one will be in sheffield very excited for that one um yeah it seems like i have actually more clients outside of london than i do in london i think that's because of where i live as well like a lot of people they want me to travel mainly up to west london but majority of my clients are in south and east london online classes are back um and they're actually weekly i've opened up my wednesdays for morning and evening online classes my youtube live classes will run the same if you want to join my youtube live classes you can't just be a subscriber i say this all the time because everyone says oh i can't see your lives why can't i join it's because you're not a member under this video you should see a button that says join if you hit that button then you'll be able to become a member which will open up the perks for you which is of course the youtube live videos and you also have access to my actual youtube videos early before they are released to the public um, I think that's mainly it. And now I just, I'm also excited that I can have or provide for myself a more healthier work-life balance. That's the main thing, cause I've never had that. I've never had that. So I'm really excited about that. Somebody asked how I got to this point, how I feel confident enough to be able to do my business full time after four years of putting in some hard work well i've always said that passion fuels consistency 
and if you know me you know i'm consistent in anything i do especially stretch and flex it's been a passion of mine since i started walking literally i used to film my training sessions a bit more i'm putting them on social media um training my friends cousins that's literally how i started my business posting almost every day and because it was lockdown roundabout lockdown when i started my business um everyone was at home on their phones bored so it was basically perfect timing our biggest downfall during this journey and possibly for the rest of this journey is not focusing on the people that do support me and focusing on the people that don't support me okay we really have to change our mindset with that one but it actually doesn't matter you need to believe in yourself believe in yourself enough to the point where those people don't matter just appreciate the people that do support you and like i said it has to come from the heart start a business from passion and not just for the money and i think that's when you get blessed the most definitely save up as well um, i saved up a lot during this journey and put it into some paid promo instagram promo i must say has done a lot for my business um, I know TikTok is a big thing now, but I don't know if I've got about two clients from TikTok. I don't really know how to, to engage with anyone on TikTok as much as I can on Insta. But in um, TikTok promo is very good as well. I even went old school, printed flyers and posters, put those at bus stops. I just feel like if the posters at the bus stop that say man with a van, picture of the van, phone number there, if those can survive, then my posters can survive as well. I went door to door, dropped flyers, and again, people are contacting me on my website saying a flyer was dropped through my letterbox. Can I get more information? So it does work. Like I said, you just have to believe in yourself and get the word out there. You don't have to put money into things. Like I said, you can literally just print off flyers, put them around, um, just do things that people are not doing as well. That's my main thing. I don't really want to do what everyone is doing. And just learn how to stay in your lane as well. That's the thing with me. I stay in my lane. Just like everyone says I should start a clothing line. I don't want to do that. The most I've done is limited edition sports bras. Once they're gone, that is it. I don't want to have a clothing line. That's not that's not my lane. That's not my, the road I need to take. Um, but like I said, just that was my main thing. I just getting my business out there. People you think is going to repost and share your content they won't don't let that put you down i must say i had some low days sometimes when i noticed that especially early on in this journey um don't let that put you down that like, you have to push forward otherwise if i didn't keep pushing forward i wouldn't be where i am today i wouldn't officially be a full-time business owner word of mouth is good if your customer service is amazing People's gonna speak about you. They're gonna tell their friends, they're gonna tell their family. And again, you'll have more clients. And that's exactly what's happened with me as well. Reviews are really good. It's always nice to see um, or be able to show other clients or potential clients that you have good reviews. Yeah, that's, I guess that's how it was got me here today. Um, and I do have a good support team. I have a very small, but very strong support team. And I love them. and. Yeah, that's, again, they are the reason why I've got here today. That's for sure. Like I said, I've got a couple of life jackets. Those are my life jackets. So what are my fears? I do have two main fears about this journey. The first one is um, not getting, or some months not getting enough clients, um, enough bookings. And the second would be not making as much money as I'm used to. Those are my main fears, I think. Um, but I, like I said, like I know I'm gonna be okay. It will just be a learning experience. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited for what this journey is gonna bring for me. Trial and error experience, and I'm more than happy to be in that position. I must say, when I put this out on social media, I first put it out on Instagram. Um, I literally just filmed, <laughs> filmed the video at work when I was doing a patrol. And yeah, the response was so overwhelming. Like I knew that a lot of people would be happy for me, especially my clients um, and my family, but the response was overwhelming. The, yeah, <laughs> I can barely even talk. Like just seeing the comments, like people saying that they've been following me for a while and they knew I was destined for greatness and things just, things like that. Like the comments were just so heartwarming. 
um people people that i don't even know and there's some people like i said that i know have been following me for a long time it's not even just about people that are booking me and putting money into my business it's just people that have been following me watching my journey and just been supporting me like that along the way that like, that is a good level of support in itself but yeah i really just appreciate everyone that likes comment shares my my post shared that post just i'm just grateful for it all I think I've covered everything. Hopefully this video hasn't come across as a waffle. Um, I'm just really excited to be honest. I can't believe I'm a full-time business owner, guys. What? <laughs> Even when I started this, of course, it, may, it probably was gonna get to this, but yeah, it's just, I'm just full of so many different emotions. Um, yeah, <laughs> full of so many different emotions, but Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully I've answered everyone's questions. If you do have any questions, then comment down below. Like I said, I really hope this wasn't too much waffle. Um, yeah, and look out for some more videos. I haven't posted in a month's time and now you know why. I've been doing a lot of planning. So I do apologize for that because I have been very consistent for a year and a bit. So I'm happy about that, but I will be back. Um, yeah, hope you like my videos so far, my routines my stretch routines, um, my workout videos. And yeah, come and book me, come to an in-person class, start doing that. So of course I'll see you guys in my next video, but I hope to see you in person too when you guys come to class. Of course, a big thank you to my clients, those that watch my videos. You, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I need a client, I need clients to run my business. So thank you for you guys. And I will see you guys soon, bye. Too legit.